Crazy Eddie reporting for the Truth Radio, January 27th, 2023. So in Memphis today, all five former Memphis police officers who were fired following the death of Tyree Nichols were charged Thursday with second degree murder. On January 7th, 2023, Nichols had two different confrontations with police officers during a traffic stop, leading Nichols to complain of shortness of breath and be taken to the Memphis hospital, according to Memphis Police Department. Nichols died at the hospital January 10th. Tadarius Bean, Demetrius Haley, Emmett Martin III, Desmond Mills Jr., Justin Smith were all fired on January 20th, 2023, following an MPD internal employment investigation into their confrontation with Nichols. During a news conference Thursday afternoon, Shelby County District Attorney Steve Maldry said footage of Nichols' arrest will be released sometime after 6 p.m. today, Friday. All five officers each faced two counts of official misconduct, one count of official oppression, one count of second degree murder, one count of aggravated assault, and two counts of aggravated kidnapping, according to Mulroy. Shelby County District Attorney Steve Mulroy has claimed those charges to Fox 13's Jeremy Pierre in a one-on-one interview. All the former officers have been booked into Shelby County Jail as of 1 p.m. on Thursday, January 26th. As of 10 p.m. on Friday, January 27th, all of the five former officers had bonded out of Shelby County Jail, court records show. Bond for Haley and Martin was set at $350,000 and bond for Bean, Mills, and Smith were set at $250,000. In an interview on Fox 13's Good Morning Memphis on January 24th, uh, Morey said, I can't stress this enough. We're moving as quickly as we can on this case. We understand that this is a public interest for us to get to the next stage of this case as soon as possible. Just stay tuned and be patient, he said. The day after Nichols' confrontation with officers, Mulroy asked the Tennessee Bureau of Investigations to investigate the use of force by those now former Memphis police officers. The TBI said the first encounter between Nichols and the five former officers happened at about 8.22 p.m. during a traffic stop at the intersection of Reigns and Ross Roads. A physical altercation ensued and Nichols ran, the TBI said, a second encounter that took place near Castlegate Lane and Bear Creek Cove. That encounter ended with Nichols sustaining critical injuring, according to the TBI. In a CNN interview, Memphis Police Chief C.J. Davis said that her department has looked at multiple videos taken prior to the physical confrontation between Nichols and officers and had not found anything to substantiate the reasons for that traffic stop. Davis also compared the video of that confrontation between Nichols and officers as bad as the Rodney King video. It's not worse. Crazy Eddie, Truth Radio, out.